Yeah. What's going on, backyard ballers? Introduce yourself. Richie Lee, 5'5 five five with shoes on, Saigon Uni. D1, 5'8 on a good day, Valley Medical High School. Andrew Fung, listed at 5'10, but definitely closer to 5'9, Saturday morning Chinese school. Pretty Rico, 5'8, 155 pounds, all muscle, Southeast Asia Community College. We are Backyard Ballers. What's going on, everybody? Fun Bros here, Richie Lee, Tan Tang, and we want to talk to you today about backyard basketball games. So today we're going to focus on the six best backyard basketball games to play with your friends. Man, I'm excited. I remember playing these growing up. They're super fun. Everyone has enough players to play full court, so these games are perfect when you only have a few people. First things first, before we get into any games, we got warm-ups, warm high knees, suicides, butt kickers, layup lines. Yo, you guys warmed up? Yeah. That's I think awesome. it's water. It. First backyard basketball game we got is Bump, aka Knockout. All right, so the concept of the game is everyone lines up, first person shoots it. If they miss it, second person has a chance to take him out by making it before them. And pretty much, you know, if you're the first person to shoot it, you better make it or else you're gonna get knocked out. Kids, they like to play with bumps. We used to play with bumps. <laughs> And if you got bumped, that ball would be 40 feet out. Yeah, you have to run. The way that we're gonna play this is that the ball's gotta hit the rim first before the person behind them can shoot it. Oh, oh, uh -oh. <laughs> oh let's go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, it's bumpy. That was a good bump if you ask me. Wow. Make it hard for yourselves, you gotta shoot from the three-point line, man. Backyard basketball game number two is called seven up, stack, or buckets, and it is a shooting game. Okay, let's say for example, you have five people. First person makes it, second person makes it, that means there's two in the bucket, or two in the stack. Third person misses, they get two of those points. Mm. Everything goes in the pot, and the person who misses the shot gets everything in the pot. Mm. And you don't want points. The reason it's called seven up often is because most people like to play to seven points. Money ball. Money ball. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. For the sake of the speed of the game, instead of seven up today, we just gonna go to three. Ah, All right. Well, the board. The pressure. Ah. Because air balls are so horrific, <laughs> you automatically get an extra one. Oh, point. so he has two. It's a really fun shooting game to play with your friends. I don't think that everybody knows about that, so check out Moneyball. All right, so number three on our classic backyard basketball games, we got the classic old horse, all right? So what's gonna, <laughs> all right. so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna start off, right? And if I make the shot, Andrew's gonna be behind me, and if he misses it, he gets one letter. If he makes it, then the letter moves on to the next person, and you do not wanna make the word horse. This was kind of like the original trick shot For game. Sure. Because if you do a layup, then everybody can make the layup, and if it goes around the circle and back to that person who originally did it, then they get the letter. Mm -hmm. So you uh, Dave's a shooter, so I'm gonna try to do a left-hand layup. Oh, no! <laughs> you a weasel! Say it's a weasel! <laughs> Disrespect! So you know why Dave is doing this? It's because I'm behind him and he knows I have something. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's you know what? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay. All right, okay. Oh, oh that's the, I got O! Oh, oh. oh, yeah! You got an H O. We don't even need to say what all that right. spells. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jimmy throws the ball! Jab, step right, hit the elbow. Jab, jab, <laughs> jab, step back, jab. We'll get to prove it though. <laughs> He's warming up the jab. 
So here's the situation with the proven. Tan has horse, but he's not out right now. He could prove it. So you could ha either have me, the person who started the shot. If I make the shot again, he's for sure out. But if he makes the shot again, he stays Basically, in. Basically, how much do you trust your own jumper? You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna earn it. I'm gonna earn it right here. Yeah. Oh, Shots that you had the other person prove. Get out of here, man. Oh! Whew. Horse again. <laughs> that went by real fast. Oh. Behind the headshot. Hey. Oh. Ah! Jalen! Oh! You know what? That sun is already in my eyes. I'm just gonna close my eyes for this one, man. English. <laughs> That's life. Oh! Let's go. Oh! oh. Hey. <laughs> right. I'm gonna be a man of violence. Go. This is my proving. <laughs> oh, he can't even get it over there. You can't get it up. That's what she or said. Bounce it. Bounce it. All right, on to our fourth game, 21, AKA Cutthroat. Ugh. Now this is a classic game where it's like a free for all. Everybody's playing on their own team against each other. You make field goals, which are worth two, and then you go hit free throws, which are worth one. You gotta hit 21. This is really fun to play on small hoops because you can dunk tip each other. We're gonna show in the hoop, let's go. Oh, let's get it! it! Hey, if you get dunked on, you just have the game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So for the sake of this video, we're not gonna play 21. Let's just play to seven. seven. First free throw, if you make it, it's worth two points. All right, so I got five. It's to seven. Oh, okay, you do that. You do that. No. Oh! There is this thing called prove it. So David, if he has it reaches 21, or in this case seven, he's gonna have to make this last shot just to prove it. Tan is allowed to say anything within reason to throw me off of this shot. All right, this is when when you're playing with your friends in elementary and you're just screaming out names of girls that you think that person likes. Oh, okay. Like Amanda. Okay. Hey, I made it through. Game number five is zoned one-on-one. -on -one. What happens in backyard basketball is that there's a lot of mismatches. The way to remedy that and make your opponent shift the way they play is to zone the court. Yep. So a three is now worth one point. A mid-range is worth two points, and a layup's worth three points. Oh. And that's for the guy who never drives. So you basically get to pick the grip knife. We got Den and Richie. Mm. Den, clearly much bigger than Richie. Den probably could take it in on Richie and back him down. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna make the inside worth only one point, but behind the arc, it's worth three points. What we're gonna do is do a game to six, and then we're just gonna see how different matchups work out. <laughs> Next matchup is me versus Pretty Rico. Tan is a slasher, so I'm gonna throw a little wrinkle in there. Layups worth one point. Three pointers worth only two. Okay. Mid range worth three points. Damn, is my jumper that bad? So for David, says I've never seen this guy jump more than three times. <laughs> I'm gonna have his layups be three points, his mid range be two points, and then his three pointers be one point, man. Oh. Yeah, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Huh? My nature! <laughs> oh! All 
right, Andrew, try to play Richie. Oh. All right. I'm gonna uh, make his post and his layups 0. 0.5. I'm gonna switch it up on you. Okay. We'll make that middle part two, and then right here, 3.5 for the threes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Generally, only gonna take mid-range jumpers this game. So I'm gonna make those one point. Oh. All right. The inside is worth three, because I feel like I can defend him on the inside, and then the three-pointers are gonna be worth two. All right. Let's go. You really bound it. So you're trying to get in my head right now. <laughs> oh! We have one last and final game. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about? King, king of the, the court. court. Also known as three dribble rollout. Also known as king of the hill. Now there is a three dribble limit. Mm -hmm. So this means that you have to use your moves efficiently. And you can get your own rebound. Right. So okay. until the possession changes, you keep playing. Oh, Let's nice. do it. But nice. once the possession changes, then people rotate in. Right. You're gonna roll the ball up to your opponent at the top of the three. See, a lot of people think, I'm just going, hey, uh, 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 one dribble shot. Guess what? I'm not even gonna take a dribble. <laughs> Alright you guys, that does it for this episode of Backyard Woo! Ballers. Shout out to Richie Tan Den. In, in the comments below, tell us which one of these six games was your favorite. And number two, let us know any other basketball video ideas that you have for us to do. And number three, like and comment and share this with all your friends that you want to play these games Woo with. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace! What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for watching that video about backyard basketball games. Trust me, if you guys love basketball as much as we do, we know that you will end up going to NBA games, music concerts, and other sporting events. We want to tell you about this new app on your phone called SeatGeek. And the whole purpose of this app is to ensure that you get a good deal when you're buying your concert or sports games tickets. SeatGeek is going to help you understand whether you're getting a good deal, a fair deal, or a bad deal on your ticket prices. SeatGeek actually rates your tickets on a scale of zero to 100 to tell whether or not you're getting a good deal or not. If you guys download the SeatGeek app right here from the link below, it's totally free and it's easy to use, you will get $20 back on your first ticket purchase. So just use the promo code FUNG, F-U-N-G, and you're gonna get $20 off your first ticket purchase at SeatGeek. SeatGeek is fast. It is convenient, it is easy, it is safe to use, and now it will even ensure whether or not you're getting a good deal. So check out SeatGeek right now, it's the best way to buy event tickets. SeatGeek! Ah! Alright guys, thank you for checking out that video. Shout out to the Fun Brothers for letting us be in their video. If you guys haven't got a chance to, make sure you guys check out my channel, RichieLee23, and make sure you guys subscribe. Den better watch out. Reverse like JR. <laughs>